Didn't expect to see a drought in here. Did the boss lady send you to rescue me? Mm, yeah, she sent me. Ready to get out of here? Yeah. Take me back to the tribe. And we'll tell the boss all about this pretty little place. <laughs>Welcome back, my little hooters, to Baldur's Gate 3. We got into this little, like, township thingy by helping them oh, from goblins last hi. time. And now they want us to money, help to them, question mark? Does that. Stop this druid, whatever. What? <clears throat> um, I'm the guard, so don't steal anything. I'm watching you. Cool. Oh, hey, you're one of those drow, right? I mm -hmm. heard stories about you. How you all live underground and steal kids away. Oh, yeah, that's me. You're thinking about Lothorn. Should you see a pair of red eyes run? Oh, okay. Um, hey, would you like to see something fun? A ring. Go on. Take this ring. It's lucky. Nice sleight of hand. Hammer's flourish, right? <clears throat> uh, I never learned names or anything. Just the tricks. Anyway, forget that. Take the ring. I want to show you how lucky it is. Banish the ring with reverse hammer's flourish. Oh yeah, we're gonna reverse flourish this ring into hell. Weeping, bleeding hells! Okay, maybe you don't need extra luck. But since you're already holding the thing, call it heads or tails. Pocket the ring. Heads. Heads it is. See? That's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. I've got more where that came from. Real cheap too. Interested? You can drop the act. Thanks for the free ring. I, uh, I don't know what you mean. Come on, this is Tinker's Trash Scam, a clumsy one. Anyone could see this as a modified War Widow scam. <clears throat> the hell it is? You can't do that one with rings. It has to be with bracelets because... <laughs> oh, damn. No, please, go on. Last chance. You want to look at my stuff or not? No, and I'm keeping the ring. You'll be sorry about this, scab. Count on it. <laughs> Ding! That's what you get, lady. We're trying to scam a rogue, eh? Magic ring. It's just a ring. <laughs> Please, last room. It is forbidden. Let my daughter go right now. She's a thief, hell spawn. And you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back. These are druids. Oh, they look pretty druidy. Let me through, Radrashab, or I'll rip your damn throat out. <laughs> oh, that's a druid, all right. Look how cute he is! 
He's a bill. Hi, bill. Rawr. Calm, Madrin. Give them a chance. You, step back. We'll not tolerate drow in here. If it weren't for me, you'd be overrun by goblins by now. I'll go where I please. Keep back. Force my hand and I'll show you its claws. A moment, Giona. What? Why would she allow one of them? I... I suppose so. You! Apparently Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. But a word of warning. One wrong move and every single animal here will tear you apart. Not the squirrel. I made friends with the squirrel. Alright, we're at a sacred pool. <gasps> Volo! Do my eyes to save me! A drow! Here! Forgive my surprise. It's rare to find your kind above ground. Rare and intriguing on a day already packed with intrigue. I love Volo. You were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came? You saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. Um, there's no overstating my disinterest. Sure, ask your Lord. questions. Now then, how would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Size, nature, distinguishing qualities? You search your mind successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. Common variety goblins led by a lasher and flanked by booyogs. Give an exact description. Goblins were of a rare jam-colored hue and wielded magic blowguns. A myth weaver. This man has no respect for truth. <laughs> and the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? Dragon? There wasn't any dragon. I think there's been a misunderstanding. What do you want? The truth, my friend. Not a jot, more or less. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? I don't think so. I was concentrating on not dying. Really? Well, this does complicate things. But then again, well, never mind. I'm not going to help I'm you weave, you weave your lies into camp. your book there, she buddy. They've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal. Goblin superstition, not worth the ink and parchment. Ah, but is superstition all? These goblins are informed by a kind of strategy anathema to their kind. I, for one, intend to get to the bottom of it. Go for it, I'm buddy. I'm just preparing to head to their camp as we speak, in fact. If you'll excuse me, I ought not to dawdle. I believe you. Be careful, goblins aren't known for mercy. What brought you to the wilds in the first place? My friend, every story benefits from a dragon. <laughs> Until we meet again. Every story benefits from a dragon. Hilarious. There's a bear behind you, buddy. Complexum tuum abtera. That's loud in my brain. What have you heard? Mm. Uh, there's a sleepy bear on here. Maybe that's why I couldn't use it earlier. Mm. 
Not from any of these bases. Won't budge. Hi, Sleepy Bear. His name is Tuffet. Oh, fish next to the elevator. Carefully nudge his flank with an animal handling. Who's a good bear? Oh! <laughs> what just happened? She took a nap. Bet you the elevator works now because it doesn't have a bear on it. Wow. All right. Gotta be somebody else I gotta talk to down here. What the? Oh, wheat that I can steal. Don't really want to steal anyone's wish I had wheat. A What's in this basket? Cheese that's rotten. Great. My favorite. Pick all these plants. Um, crates I can steal from, a stool, a cauldron. Who's this person? Speak. What were you saying to that bird? Doesn't look like you're helping with the ritual. The bird knows. She needs to know. You do not. Oh, okay. Huh, suspicious. No, please. A moment. We may talk, but I do not trust my brethren. More follow Korga every day. They are afraid, and she offers a simple solution. Mm. Eject the refugees, and we will be safe. And she's wrong? Sounds like she has to be stopped. How would we do that? You still haven't told me what you're doing with that bird. A druid and an outsider. We can do nothing without turning the others against us. Only Master Hulsin can stop this. I pray my bird returns with news of him. If not, I fear for my people. Oh, the bird was looking for this guy. What happened to him? Are there any healers? He left with the adventurers. They went treasure hunting in an old temple near here. Master Halsin did not chase treasure. I do not know what he was chasing. But they he never, never returned. returned. Find Nettie in, this in her room. Nettie. Through the carved door, deeper in the grove. The ritual is Corgus' decision. But she is not our leader. Master Halsin hmm. welcomed the refugees in. I wait for him oh, to resolve this. Okay, Halson's supposed to be the leader, but he's not here. Okay, what is deeper in the grove? Because there should be a healer. Deeper in the grove. Aha! Uh, I don't know how to read a map clearly. Oh, I'm over here. Okay, I need to go. Back over there. A boar. Hi, Tusky boy. Oh, that's all. You done chatting? Oh, is this it? The carved door?
Chasing the thief on the god of my servants. What's happening right now? Oh my god! A snake! Please! I'm sorry! This is madness, Koga! She's just a, a This lady rat. seems evil. A thief? A poison? A threat? A little I will kid? The devil. And I will cast out every stranger. Thief poison? What's this girl's actual crime? Girl? You mean parasite? She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely. Do it. Oh, Druids cherish harmony. Okay, persuasion. Detect thoughts. Read her mind. Release her. I'll see that she stays out of trouble. Very well. She may go. Break your word, and my serpent shall feed. Sif, sif, deal it to me. Gail approved. Out, thief. My grace has its limits. <laughs> it hurts. Thank you, Korga. Master Holson was. Halston isn't here. Darkness. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. Oh yeah, this lady is cruel. We've got some little talking thingies going on here. Back. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. Yeah, let's. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least. In case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. Seems suspiciously timed, though. Positive. You can trust me on that. Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Okay, I'm stuck to Gale. That woman has more venom in her heart than a snake in its fangs. But at least the child is safe. What is youth if not a time to be forgiven for one's transgressions? Put a child on display like that was monstrous. Glad we intervened. Forgiveness means nothing if she doesn't learn from her mistakes. Sounds like you have something to confess. Calm, let's cut the kid some slack, shall we? She didn't deserve this madcap spectacle as far as I'm concerned. Oh, did I say something bad? Thought we were talking about treating this lady with some making her learn a lesson. That's what I want to do. Where'd Nettie? Okay. Stone door. Okay, so we need to go much further into this place here. Talk to this guy real quick. You did well to speak up for the girl. That snake is fickle. A, A tragedy, tragedy prevented. prevented. Nothing befitting a child. Nothing befitting any of our world's creatures. We've let a snake replace our leader. She will see the tieflings driven out, or worse. Tieflings, that's what those people are. I was like, I can't tell what these people are. They have horns. Looking ah, for Nettie. I see. You will find her deeper in the caves. Master Halsin. Perhaps Goblin Court, perhaps dead. He'd set Mistress Korga back in line. Hold her to task. Stop this damned ritual. More will die if the rite is finished. So many more. 
sent into a world gone mad. So true. Would you? I would give anything to see Halcyn return home. Same. Our need is great. I will open the treasures of this grove to you, even if the circle forbids it. Halcyn is an elf with the presence of a bear. He left west with the adventurers. You won't mistake the first druid for anyone else. Good to know. All right, let's go find Nettie. I see you. Just give a me a moment. A moment. There is oh. where they can. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Um, okay. Now what? Trow. Last time I saw one of you folk, he tried to slit me open. I hope you're more agreeable. People sure hate me because of I'm a drow. That's neither here nor there. Look, you obviously want something. What is it? Uh, I need help. Healing. I do what I can. For most folks, that's enough. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You seem healthy enough. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. I uh, have a tadpole in my head. Right, yes, I'm very tired indeed. A tadpole? A mind flare tadpole? You know of them? Can you help me? I. Uh, I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. The other me. option was like, what do you think, a frog I hopped in my head? be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. I'm coming, I'm coming. Ooh, magic secret door. <gasps> a dissected drow! There's something in that vessel. Take a closer look. Don't worry about him on the table. I'm not in the habit of killing Drow. He attacked Master Halson and I in the woods, leading a pack of goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. He and I have the same kind of parasite? Hoping for a less grave cure. Seems so. Gave Master Halson a right start. It's why he joined the adventurers on their expedition. To find out what was happening. I pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Hmm. Still, we have so options. if I found that guy, he'd be able to help me. You don't have to be here for this. I will remain. I have a vested interest in the outcome. All right. Let's see what we can do. What's that plant? Will it help? Just hurry up and cure me. I don't have time to chat. She shifts uneasily, hesitating. Something's off. It might. But first things first. Tell me about your symptoms. Have you noticed anything strange happening? It might? What aren't you telling me? You can merge minds with anyone else that's infected. Fell from a ship in the sky. Intellect Devourer spoke to me as if I were one of its own. No, nothing strange. I just want it out of my head. I'm telling you everything you need to know. Believe me on that. I don't believe I you. I want to help you. But I can't unless you work with me. So, has anything unusual happened to you? Victims can identify each other. Not that the others know they're victims, of course. How'd you pick up the parasite? 
Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. Not a mind player ship. I was kidnapped and infected. A mind flare ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. Thanks. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me. You'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. I thought this would cure me. What about that branch of yours? The thorn? Coated in a fatal toxin. It was a last resort. In case I couldn't trust you. I don't have a cure. Only a way out. I'm sorry for misleading you. Rude. But I had to be sure you weren't a threat before I told you everything. Now, do I have your word or not? Mm. Sure, why not? I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them. Trying to figure out what the hells was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. That's true. What do you mean we should be changing? We must have learned something from studying me. Mind flayers reproduce by infecting someone with their parasite. Seven gruesome days later. The victim transforms and a new mind flare is born. The thing in your skull, though, it's different to anything in our records. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers, telepathic connections, and it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. Okay. So you think it's only a matter of time? That's good news? Tracking other victims, did they change? Hard to say, but there's a lot we don't know. Infected. Folks like you have been converging on an old temple of Saluna, and I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers. Mm. Joined on the spot. Whatever he we found, we gotta go then, find this guy. He didn't make it back. You think he's still alive? I think so. I hope so. I've sent birds to find him, but they can't get close without goblins trying to shoot them down. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? Sounds pretty good. Making a lot of assumptions that could kill me. Sure you can cure me? Sounds like suicide. All right, I'll Thank find you. him. It would mean everything to the groom. I already agreed to, to find me. him for somebody else. I wish so. I could tell you more, but only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna, and Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there, and if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. <sighs> Complete get help from the healer. Steal all the healer's books. Better than becoming a mind player. Keep it in case things start to get very wrong. Oh, look. What will the tieflings want next? Letting the hell child go was a mistake. That's rude. These people are racists. Let's go talk to this lady. I don't know what she wants, but she's the worst. A deep elf. 
In our grove, on this day. A sign. Or rather, a gift. Who better to understand a watchful broodmother than a beloved child of Loth? I have no love for the Queen of Spiders. Indeed. But you do exhibit a talent for self-preservation. A viper bears her fangs defending her brood. Is it not her nature to strike at invaders? No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. Right must be powerful magic. <gasps> the right of thorns. It is the Tree Father's gift that none come to harm. When we speak the final prayer, the great vine will sprout forth. The grove will be cloaked in bramble and thorn. No one enters, no one leaves. Sanctuary. None of this can happen while outlanders infect us. Sylvanus demands that we choke them out. And mine perish if he stays. You showed great metal Why at the gate. Why do you guys hate the teeth ones? The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Zevlor. Offer to guide the outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the viper must strike. This lady's the worst. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the outlander rot cleansed and the grove forever shrouded. Lady is terrible. Here goes nothing. Okay, so we want to go talk to Zevlor again. We want to go save this druid guy. This you little girl I saved. Scare me like that again, and I'll feed you to a knoll. Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. I mean, you were almost eaten by a snake. Our little hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we'd do without her. Hope we'll meet again under better circumstances. Could have ended badly. Keep her in line. No more light-fingered antics, all right? Yeah. I mean, thank you for helping me. Our job to get us out of here safely. I gotta lock Not it. My job to... It gives me dancing lights. Reckless. Okay. Where is Zebler? Where that homie be? Find his Oru. Return to Zebler. Hunt down Carlock. Rescue the Druid. Okay, let's save the refuge. A backpack. Mm. 
But nothing inside. That checks out. Don't be grumpy, Roland. We'll get to the city soon. I am not grumpy. Scowl on your face would frighten a troll. <laughs> You're an idiot. We should have left by now. Damnation! Instead, we're just sitting here, practically begging to be attacked. Staying is a mistake. And what about us? There's every chance we've doomed ourselves by helping these people. We will end up fodder for some goblin's blade, all because Leah insists on helping every wounded foe we see. Our best chance to make it to Baldur's Gate is on our own. Who is this, this guy? This place is lost. Please, I can handle myself. It's others that are the issue. You are looking at Laroican's newest apprentice. I don't know who yes, that is. Yes, that Laroican. <laughs> the greatest wizard in Baldur's Gate. Uh, I've heard that name before. A young man, yes? Lives in Ramazes Tower in the upper city. The very same. Word in Waterdeep has it he's a bit of a cad. But you say he's an accomplished wizard? Of course he is. The greatest spellcaster along the Sword Coast. As if I'd settle for a lesser mentor. Mm. In that case, I'd very much appreciate it if you could arrange an introduction, should we reach the city. If it's powerful acquaintances you're after, you have to look no further than yours truly. Few can match me, in either magic or talent. Hmm. In years to come, you will boast of this meeting. I can assure I you. I believe you. May we meet again in Baldur's Gate. You seem like such a great fella. Okay, we gotta go find. What is this? How long Auntie until Roland Ethel. shows off his thunder wave? Uh, it has a little picture uh, of a shop. Or something. Isn't the talk of the camp. Thank goodness you came along when you. Oh. There isn't a bit of color in those cheeks, Petal. Are you harsh? Cold? Feverish? Auntie Ethel will sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. No need, I'm fine. I'm just here to trade. Are you an alchemist? Sorry, love. I'll just lose the run of myself sometimes. I must say, though, you're looking mighty peaky. Are you all right? I'm fine, just bone weary oh, after a difficult Even day. On a good day, half the camp acts like a bunch of screaming brats. I'm tempted to smack them all on the backside and tell them to kiss and make up. <laughs> Not that they'd listen to little old me. Anyway, do you need anything? I have a few odds and ends for sale. No harm, hey, show bother. me your wares. Okay, so let's try this again, shall we? these stones are good for anything but we're gonna sell them all I don't really need to be carrying like 200 of everything
potion of invisibility. What is this? Natural pugilist. You gain a plus one to arm attack rolls. Thanks, lady. Thanks for the money. Take care now, sweetie. I think I'd be better at bartering when I have good charisma, but you know what? That's fine. Who are we looking for again? Which direction we need to go, eh? Okay, Zevler is to the right. And find Zoru to the... Oh, sorry. The opposite. Go this way real quick. Zoru. Zoru. By Mordai's eyes. Another one. My friend's blood not enough. Come to rip me open too. In Kresh Kalir, a formal greeting begins with a bow. Is this monster with you? Yes, and I suggest you do as she says. Shadow heart. <laughs> bow. <laughs> Lower. Oh, come on. You saw another gith. Where? On the road, to Baldur's Gate. N near the mountain pass. S saw us, for we saw it. Jammed its blade through Yul's belly. I'm not good. Straight to the other side. No twisting. Kin must have been in a hurry. The map. Show me. Up. You can keep your innards. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Please, I. Okay, well. The locals prove compliant. They just scare him. A useful trait. I warned you, didn't I? You ought to reconsider keeping her around before she causes real trouble. I don't know. I kind of like her. So it was an easy mark. Don't get complacent. Ch a thin shell requires little to crack it. I will apply more pressure should the situation demand. The teethling was clear. If there are Githyanki west of here, that must be our objective. Purification cannot wait. You say teethling? What do you mean purification? The Kresh holds the Zathisk. It will cleanse us of the parasite. By covenant, I can say no more. I am unfamiliar with the... Well, I shall not say culture. Custom, perhaps. You will educate me on matters of this... Fey run. Fey run? No, no, it's Fey run. <laughs> Might as well grab this torch. Okay, now it's time to search this wooden barrel. And search this wooden crate. And search this wooden crate. And take their orange. And take their garlic. And then go and find this other guy. Is he behind this stone door? He looks to be behind this stone door. That's Zoru again. <laughs> hey Zevler, how's it going there, bud? I heard what happened. Thank you for protecting the child. No problem, if the druids oh, bud. Are this far gone, then it's not just goblins we have to fear. So we can risk violence here, or face it for certain on the road. Quite the choice, isn't it? 
Leaving the grove is the best option. I can help. Can you delay the ritual? You have to resist. Best of luck with that. I'm not here to advise you. I'm here to make sure you leave. Leaving the grove is the best option. I can help. It's good of you to offer, but there's a whole army of goblins out there. We'd need an army of our own to escort us safely to Baldur's Gate. And while I don't doubt your abilities, you're no army. You should doubt my abilities. There may be a way, though. Goblins are ill-disciplined. It's unlike them to organize so cleverly. Somebody must be leading them, bringing discipline to their ranks. Take out that leadership, and they'll scatter. It's no small thing to ask, but I've seen you fight. You're equal to the task. <laughs> what's these? Um. Yeah. Everyone in do. this camp depends on it. Thank you. You're we'll welcome, be ready there, to buddy. leave as soon as you give word. No, sir. But if there's a okay, clear path it? past those goblins, they'll find it. Yes. Speaking of casual sandals, where's my gladiator shoes? There we go. Let's have a look. Rotten eggs. Nothing good in there, I tell you what. Just rotten food. Hunt down car lock. Okay, so we should do this, and we should do this, and we should do this. We should do all of the missions. Well, we're right next to this one, so I guess we could go. Don't waste the step. Find car lock, eh? This doesn't look like the right way to go, though. This looks like a dead end, unless this. I don't know. Can I like climb up things? Oh, guess I can. Look at me climbing up some cragged rocks. Finding a treasure chest. to think the goblins would kill us the second we set foot outside but after hearing what you did at the gate well i still think they'll kill us but at least we can put up a fight true that <laughs> there's optimism and then there's stupid hun plenty of us fell to monsters already i don't see the rest of us lasting long out there but if you're so sure we will, why not put a little gold on the line? Sure, it's a bet. How are you going to take my gold if you're dead? Oh, I'm sure you're good for it. Just leave the gold on my corpse. After seeing you at the gate, I'm sure you'll last longer than us. Excellent. 
And since I ain't one to leave a debt unpaid, that means we're destined to meet in Border's Gate. Looking forward to it. <laughs> Shabby I'm gonna door. Your kids and your birdies Whoa. And your dogs. There's somebody in jail over here. You ain't gonna shoot me. Your hands are shaking. A goblin. Put it down. She can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way. She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tiefling. If you ever had it to begin with. Step between the crossbow and the goblin. Yoink. Looks like the Absolute sent me a protector. You gonna kill them too? You move. Lower the crossbow or I'll deliver you right to your brother. Tech thought. This won't avenge Kanan. No, shoot me. Should be easier, right? More. Damn you. Damn it! Why do you care if a goblin lives or dies? Because she's not a practice target she's a person she dies she'll take everything she knows to the grave if you believe anything the beast tells you you're an idiot it's all right arca let's go let me out you bunch of didn't expect to see a drought in here did the boss lady send you to rescue me Mm, yeah, she sent me. Ready to get out of here? Yeah! Take me back to the tribe, and we'll tell the boss all about this pretty little place. So she can burn it to the ground! We'll be heroes! Blessed by Priestess Ga in the name of the Absolute. Well, at least being a drow has gotten me one thing out of this so far. Alright, I'll see what I can do. Goblins belong in cages. You won't be getting my help. Who is this Absolute? Priestess Ga is quite the name. Hmm got a whole lab set up cooks up potions that fix our lads no matter how much of a beating they take could probably stick your head back on if someone was to chop it off <laughs> mighty booyog the absolute is gold from the sky she is the blessing in the storm and the storm itself we're burning her name across the face of the world we are You won't regret it, promise. <laughs> they sell this approves. I mean, You're gonna be sorry! Tiring business, life. isn't it? All this traveling and adventuring. Why don't we take a little break, hmm? Allow ourselves a few moments of rest? Gives me a chance to talk to you about something. Well, rather important. Rather important, Ellis. All right, go ahead. We've been on the road together for a while now, haven't we? Hmm? Survived some perils, overcame some obstacles. Yeah. Ever since you were kind enough to free me from that stone, I've seen you demonstrate remarkable guile and courage. True. The way we diffused the tension between Zevlor and Aradin. The way you stood in front of a crossbow to prevent a murder. True. The way you got Korga to release the girl. Mm -hmm. In short, I've grown to trust you. That's good. The reason I make a point of saying this is that I've grown confident enough to tell you something I've yet to tell another living soul, except, except for my cat. cat. You see, I have this condition, very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. Hmm? Is it contagious? Can it be cured? No. 
cannot be cured. And I assure you I've left no page unturned in reaching that conclusion. I can keep this condition under control, as indeed I've done for a significant amount of time, but that was under different circumstances altogether. Home in Waterdeep. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. Hmm. Yeah, illness causes you to consume raw magic? I'm gonna need the details. You tell me you're addicted to magic. No, no, it's nothing like that. <laughs> magic isn't a narcotic to me, it's quite literally a lifesaver. I would not burden anyone other than myself with this were the stakes not so high and the means of obtaining such artifacts challenging for a humble wizard to face alone. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact, since before we were abducted. It's only a matter of time before my craving returns. That is why I turn to you. I need you to help me find magic items to consume. It is vital. Dare I say it? Critical. I've having a rough go of it. Where do we find these things? We've already done the finding. In fact, you have one in your possession. You know for yourself how hard won such an item was, and it will be no easier when even more are required to assuage my hunger. There'll be danger involved, or great cost. Splendid. Bit of boldness will serve us well. I'm sure we won't have to look very far to find what I need. Faerun overflows with magic-infused treasure. As do our packs, as a matter of fact. We have such an item already in our possession. Primed for the moment the need arises. I hope I can count on you. What item? Oh, I have leveled up, which I didn't even realize. So I will level up before we come back for the next episode and continue our adventure. Thanks for watching. Bye!